Uh, today, we're going to talk about managing wall information and how you can apply classifications and properties to your walls also to give you uh, a, a better ability to control information. So first off, if you're not familiar with this, uh, there's two important parts to managing uh, information in, you know, in ARCHICAD, uh, including walls, and that's classifications and properties. So for example, I'm working with walls and I want to create some new properties for walls. I want to make sure that I'm assigning that to uh, the wall um, uh, classification. Uh, and I can edit and create my own wall, new classifications. Um, I can also edit uh, the different kinds of classifications that's associated, or excuse me, different properties that are associated with this uh, wall classification. And there's also the property manager. Property manager is typically user-defined uh, data that's assigned to an element and uh, provides you know uh, ability for you to have additional searchable information as well as information you can use for, as I'll show you in a second, for graphic overrides. And so, um, as you can see down here, we have you know our property manager, which is uh, open by going to my options menu, property manager. And these are different properties that are associated with different uh, property groups. So you might have a property group for general ratings or fire resistance ratings, right? And if I go down here and I select this and I click the option setup button, you can see that the dash, dash, dash is the default, meaning that nothing's been chosen. Um, then we have like 45 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute, 120, 180, and 240. So you can use these different designations for you know your fire resistant rating, right? That you assign to a wall, as well as different finishes, uh, different product uh, information, other construction type information and openings as well. Our classifications and properties also can be, um, uh, when you open up a wall, you'll see in the wall settings, so this is my wall settings, right? Uh, geometry and positioning information, you've got your profile, floor plan model, at the very bottom of it is a panel called classification properties. And this is where what you set up under classifications and properties in your options menu, this is where you're going to be able to access this on the element level. So here up top, for example, uh, you can choose to use the ARCHICAD classifications, which is the default. There is also the option to use master format. So if you want to use that instead of the ARCHICAD classifications, you can do this as well. You then have different options from uh, ID and categories uh, where you can... Uh, Control the wall ID, which is really helpful for your wall type uh, tags, uh, uh, labels. Uh, you can set the structural function. This is important, again, if you want to show um, structural uh, uh, components in ARCHICAD as part of your uh, 2D and 3D views. Uh, it's position, uh, renovation status, and other uh, property information, that, again, comes from the properties uh, dialog I was just showing you, including the fire resistance. Uh, that I was just showing the dialogue previously. And so what's really nice about that is once you have that all established, you can then begin to create graphic override combinations that you can use to visually in 3D as well as graphically in 2D uh, uh, change the nature of the information you show. So for example, in this case, we can show fire rated wall assemblies using our fire protection by rated walls and by setting these to certain designations, I can begin to show how I want those fire rated assemblies shown in 2D and 3D. Same thing true for a structural um, view where I want the structural view in 2D to look a certain way in terms of color, uh, in terms of graphics, as well as in the 2D uh, view. And for phasing, this is a really interesting one to use too. If you want to graphically show different phases for your project, you can actually create a, um, a, a phasing property here with, uh, again, phase one, phase two, phase three, or however many phases you might have. And then you could create different colors, uh, different fill patterns associated with each of these, and those could then show up within your um, display of your project phasing uh, to show those different categories. And that is our tip of the week.